Welcome to Hands-On History with the Bulkley Valley Museum. Today we're going to show you how to make and use your own railroad signal lantern. Railroad lanterns like this one from the museum's collection served a very important purpose in the past. Signal lanterns allowed railway workers at a rail station like the one here in Smithers to communicate with trains at night. How to make your lantern. To make your lantern, you will need five things that most people have around the house. One is a piece of letter-sized construction paper, or plain white paper will do. You will also need a pencil, a ruler, scissors, and some tape. The first step to make our lantern is to draw a line 1.5 centimeters from the short edge of the paper. After you've drawn your line, take your scissors and cut along this line to remove a strip from the end. This strip is going to become the handle for our lantern, and we can set it aside for now. Next, fold your paper in half lengthwise. Turn the paper so that the fold is towards you and the flap is facing away. Now we're going to draw another line 3 cm from the top of the paper. This line is going to guide the cutting we're about to do. Making sure the flap is facing away from you, take your scissors and cut strips from the fold to that line we just drew. These strips should be about the width of your finger. Once you have cut all the strips, unfold the paper in front of you. We're now going to bring the long edges of the paper together to create a cylinder shape. Use tape to secure both the top and bottom of your lantern. The last step to finish our lantern is to attach the handle. Use tape to secure that piece of paper we cut off at the beginning to the top of your lantern. And there you have it. Our lantern is complete and we're ready to learn some signals. Hi, I'm Assistant Curator Holly. I'm down at Smithers Station to show you some lantern signals that railway signalers use to give directions to the trains. First, we're going to let the train know it's okay to move forwards by moving the lantern up and down in a straight line. Now, we're going to hold out our lantern at arm's length to tell the train to start slowing down. If the train's gotten a little too close, swing the lantern in a circle at a half arm's length from your body to tell them to back up. Swinging the lantern back and forth in front of you tells the train to stop. And swinging it back and forth in front of your face lets them know to apply the brakes. Now we want to get the train moving again. So we hold the lantern high up above our head and keep it still. And finally, we move it up and down again to tell the train to go forwards. Remember, always be careful around trains and never play near railway tracks. Thank you for watching.